Everybody has uh, has their favorite stuff, right? Has their favorite cutting combinations, things like that. And uh, uh, Tuan says that you ought to have three techniques that you can execute like a breath. So as as comfortably and as naturally and as thoughtlessly as you as you breathe, you should have three combinations that that are like that. They're just you just done, right? So and everybody develops their own combinations based on the training partners that they frequently cut against. Does that make sense? You know, so the opponents you fight develop the kind of the style that you fight. So, um, which is why it's important for us to to be so diverse and to have so many different people to work on and work with. Because you work with your same three training partners in your in your training group or your school, you'll get the same fr re reflexes, you'll get the same combinations, and you'll get really streamlined and really great at cutting those guys. You know what I mean? And and then what you'll do is you'll seek out training partners that feel good. And you'll go, oh, this guy has good energy, right? And really what that means is he has a familiar energy. You know, that's what that really means. It doesn't mean his energy is any good. You go, well, this guy's really rough and really choppy. Uh, well, and, and it's just he's got really bad energy. No, it's just an energy that's less familiar to you, right? Because we tend to work with guys who get better. They get better, they get smoother, and that's the guys we end up working with. Um, or you work with a guy who's really fast and really slick, but no real power, no real you know form, just really quick and speedy, and you're like, ah, oh, he's terrible, terrible, terrible energy. Well, not really. He's just an energy you're not as familiar with because you know we kind of weed that out of a part of a partner. So what you want to do is you want to uh, get as many different energies as possible. Get the guys who are big and rough and choppy and banging on your arm, and get the guys who are real slick and real fast and just kind of flinging their blade and all that stuff and yes we do want to train those things out of them because they're not as effective they're not as efficient um, but uh, but at the same time you still have to work with them because that's an energy you're going to experience on the street to find someone who's going to on the street he's going to have this smooth control cross hand parry nice tight structure you know who's not going to spaz that's rarely going to happen it's never going to happen 